Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Roy and you're watching Roy D Strength and Conditioning. Thank you very much for joining in. If you're watching this again, FYI, I have surpassed 100 subscribers on YouTube. So that is awesome. I am extremely excited and I'd like to thank all of you guys for all of the support um, so far. So awesome. Uh, keep going, keep sharing all of my stuff because I'm simply doing it to help whoever I can and give out all of the information that I have so that it helps somewhere else to train in a better manner. Um, today's video is about an upper body exercise that is not only an upper body exercise but it's basically um, a, a big core exercise as well so um, they're called renegade rows uh, and I, I will have a voiceover when I take you through the video of me doing them myself um, so they involve a push so it's a push-up variation a pull like a rowing variation and also a plank so you will use your abdomen quite a bit all of your core actually and also your anti-rotation um, uh, your anti-rotators of your core so by that i mean your obliques um because you will often go from a stable position to an unstable position which um, actually activates your muscles to stop you from rotating side to side and you have to build some amount of rigidity because that's how you actually um activate all of your core muscles if that makes sense uh, you can incorporate it in your session you can incorporate it in a high intensity interval training session if you're doing one but make sure it's always quality over quantity so even if you're going on a higher weight you make sure that you're not putting it in a high intensity interval training because you don't want to injure yourself go with lighter weights get the form right uh, get the exercise right and then you can incorporate it when you're more advanced with the exercise and you actually start feeling where you're actually meant to feel it like my previous video and you haven't watched that uh, watch that one where I talk about mind muscle connection which is a big one and I'll add the link up top again for you to watch that one uh, so I hope you enjoy the session um, or this video rather um, and please hit me up if there's anything that you need any questions that you have about anything and I'm more than happy to um, to do justice from my end as much as I can uh, to reply to your questions or to upload anything if I can. So I hope you enjoy this video and continue to subscribe, share my videos with people that it will help and smash that like button as much as you can. Um, I will see you guys on the other side. Okay, it's a simple setup in a plank with two dumbbells under your hands. You will go with two push-ups in a row on each side. I've taken a nice wide stance with my legs so that gives me a good broad base of support. And you've got to draw the dumbbells into your hips during the row. The height of the dumbbells allows you a little more depth with your push-ups, so more range of motion. And the row is driven towards my pockets. Again, stabilize those hips, make sure you don't swing side to side and you will really start feeling your anti-rotators work. 